Levi Risk. For those of you who don't know, Levi Risk, hopefully those who are members of the church know, this is Levi and his lovely wife Mandy and their beautiful daughter Irene. Levi is a member of this church family for probably the past year, two years, something like that. Levi is about to run across America. That's not a typo. That's run across America. That's not fly across America. That's not drive across America. That's not take a bike across America. That means Levi, a medical doctor, is leaving his job for a few months, taking leave of absence. He flew to California last week, and I think today is today, right? It's today. He begins running from Los Angeles, California. And he will continue to run until he gets to Washington, D.C. Don't adjust your sets at home, ladies and gentlemen. What I said is what I meant. If that's not crazy enough, because that is crazy enough, if that's not crazy enough, he is taking, he took his wife and his daughter, and they're going to be with him in an RV that's going to come across with them. And by the way, his wife just happens to be pregnant as well. Levi, over the course of the next four months, is going to run 3,000 miles, roughly 40 miles a day. And just to put that into perspective, I ran 13 miles yesterday, and I'm ready to collapse. <laughs> and I declared myself on vacation for the next three months. And if you see what I ate, what I did, and I, I didn't move, okay? And I got more plans to not move today after church as well. Levi is going to run those 13 miles, take a drink of water, and go do that again two more times, every single day, five days a week, for the next, from now till Christmas. Why would he do that? A, he's got some screws loose in his head. B, he's got a lot of free time on his hands. C, he just saw Forrest Gump and he got really motivated. <laughs> or D, he wants to bring light to the world. I'll let Levi say, watch a short little video clip right here and let Levi tell you. Uh... Levi's beginning today. You're going to hear more about this in the coming weeks. Okay, you're going to hear more about this in the coming weeks. So we'll talk more about the, the mobile health clinic and the RV and how that's going to be. So we're going to deal with all that in the coming weeks. You hear a lot about it. But today I just want to kind of focus on the mindset, okay, and the act that Levi is doing, this brave act, this heroic act, this act of light. As a doctor, he could curse the fact that there are people without health care. He could, and that's what many people choose to do. But instead, he chose to light a candle and say, what can I do? We need to have this, this mentality as well, okay? We need to be soldiers of light. And we need to see that as Levi is showing us here, that you may not need to necessarily be a preacher to bring light to others. You may not necessarily need to be a Mother Teresa to bring light to others. There are many ways 
that we can bring light to this world. Preaching is good. Inviting people to friends and family day is good. Joining Love Your City in a few weeks is good. There are many ways. Running across America is not a bad idea as well. There are many ways. All right, and even we got, we got these bracelets over here. Okay, you can see these nice bracelets. You may be able, uh, we, at the connection table, you can grab one of these bracelets. You think they're $2 suggested donation, but even if you don't got the money, you could take it. You can let other people know. You can go to runforhope.us and you could spread the word about what's going on right here. There are many ways that we can bring light to this world. But the most important thing is we need to have that kind of mentality. Like that's what I want us to have. And that's what I want us to focus on for this coming year. I want this to be a year that we as the children of light, we bring light to the world. You know when he comes back with this thing, there's going to be an RV, a big old RV, in the capital of the United States of America, the center of the free world, that has a big plaster on it, Hope Association and STSA Church. Said another way, said that the care being provided in this place is being brought to you by children of the light. And that's the message that we need to, to get out there is that what's happening here is being brought because we are children of light and our job is to spread light across this country.